Hello YouTube, this is DVDB Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Edgar Wright's Cornetto Trilogy on Blu-ray, which consists of Shaun of the Dead, which is the standard Blu-ray release of the film, Hot Fuzz, which is the real Heroes edition, which basically just has some upgraded comic book style artwork on the front cover, and then we have my personal favourite, The World's End, which is a limited edition Blu-ray steelbook. So beginning with Shaun of the Dead, this movie came out in 2004, and is probably my personal favourite as far as directing goes. These are all really well directed, um, but this one definitely has the best cinematography in my opinion, and that the comedy elements used in this, the cinematography really does highlight those, uh, such as humorous things entering the scene and such, so it really is uh, quite a nice comedy as far as the, uh, the directing goes, and Edgar Wright as a director, I really do admire him and his unique perception on camera shots throughout cinema. So the movie is rated 15, contains strong uh, comic violence and language, and the running time for the film is an hour and 39 minutes, and just overall, I really do love the characters in Shaun of the Dead, it's a really heartwarming film with zombies, uh, which is a really great spoof of uh, horror movies and uh, zombie films in general. Uh, I love all the cameo appearances of certain actors such as Bill Nye, who portrays uh, Sean's stepfather, which is a really great character and has some many humorous moments throughout the film. Uh, Sean and Ed, as the ca main characters in the film, of course Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, a great duo, and uh, just overall it's a really phenomenal film, great characters, an amazing cast, and uh, some really nice cameo appearances from Dylan Moran, Jessica Stevens. Uh, Matt Lucas from Little Britain and of course Martin Freeman who plays characters in each film anyway. So yeah, that's Shaun of the Dead, really great film and definitely one I would recommend. First the Blu-ray disc. So that is Shaun of the Dead. Next up we have Hot Fuzz, which is definitely my personal favourite as far as the narrative goes. It's a really interesting, complex story, and uh, overall I really do appreciate this film as far as that goes. It's a police film spoof, uh, which is absolutely amazing. I really do love the characters of Nicholas Angel and Danny Butterman. Uh, this is apparently a limited, uh, limited edition copy, which I seriously doubt, uh, but the artwork on the front cover is really nice for a Real Heroes edition. So it comes with this nice slip cover, and the film is rated 18 on Blu-ray. Uh, which I do believe is because there are some more explicit Blu-ray exclusive special features which are not on the DVD edition which is rated 15 uh, if anyone was actually interested and the film is on for 2 hours and 1 minute uh, which is a pretty average running time and the longest running time of each of these films so the film overall is definitely a worthy film of um, Edgar Wright, it's a terrific comedy and uh, has some of the ama um, most amazing black comedy moments which dark comedy is such a British thing and and this definitely does highlight that. So there is the cover art, which is literally exactly the same as the slip cover. And uh, of course, one disc and a limited edition art card inside. So Hot Fuzz definitely would recommend it. Some great acting from Timothy Dalton, who uh, plays Simon Skinner. And uh, we also have Jim Broadbent, who, play, uh, who plays um, Danny Butterman's father, which is a great character. And just overall, definitely a film I would recommend. Really hilarious spoof film and uh, easily one of the best British comedies ever made. So that is Hot Fuzz. And now my personal favourite, which is The World's End. This is a limited edition Blu-ray steelbook I got from Zavi, I believe, uh, when the film was first released. And this is now worth upwards of about £50, which is interesting. Uh, so, of course, this is now out of print and retired. Um, but The World's End, the least favourite of the Cornetto trilogy in many people's opinions, but I personally liked it a lot more than the other films. Uh, really nice looking steelbook, so I shall, of course, give that a look over in a second. Um, but looking at the J card, it's rated four stars by Empire, which the other two films are rated five stars. Uh, it comes with the Blu-ray and the ultraviolet copy. The film is rated 15, and on the back we have a list of these special features, including some Blu-ray exclusive special features, and uh, there we have some little snapshots from the film itself, and of course it says limited edition collector steelbook. So yeah, the film is rated 15 once again, contains very strong language and strong sex references, and the total running time is an hour and 49 minutes. So The World's End, why is, it, why is this one my favourite? I honestly just love the soundtrack, which consists of Sisters of Mercy, uh, Blur, Suede, just really great uh, 80s and 90s bands uh, that I quite admire and overall I really do love Simon Pegg's look in this film uh, which he looks similar to Andrew Eldritch who is the main singer in Sisters of Mercy and uh, overall I really do love this film it's such a great storyline and uh, overall the character development is great um, how it relates to the past is fantastic and overall The World's End it's pretty interesting so inside we have the World's End Blu-ray disc and I've actually ended up keeping 
a cinema ticket of when I first went to see the film back in 2013. And uh, of course, Cornetto Trilogy, I ended up keeping the front of an ice cream box that actually had the World's End advertised on there, which is quite interesting. So that's a little bit of memorabilia, uh, which is kind of pointless, but I've just kept it for the sake of it, to be honest. And inside the actual still book, we have inside a nice image of the main characters throughout the film, literally exactly the same as what's shown on the disc. And uh, in the background, we have all the blanks slash robots slash aliens, which is a really interesting kind of um, villain throughout this film. It's very, very, very bizarre. And uh, yeah, overall, I mean, The World's End is not everybody's favourite. Comment below which one of these three films is your favourite. And uh, many people really do dislike this film because apparently it's just a little bit too out there. It's very, very, very abrupt. And uh, just many people don't really see how fantastic the science fiction element is throughout this film. So, uh, more or less, I enjoyed this film for the soundtrack and the characters, but it is a very enjoyable film in my opinion, as with the others in the Cornesso trilogy. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more upcoming reviews. I shall be doing a few re-reviews in the next few weeks, and uh, of course monthly updates as per usual. So thanks for watching and leave a like down below.